Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix Tremaine. Today we're going to talk about Victoria uh, Conefall, who plays Sierra Brady on Days of Our Lives, has quit the show again. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Please hit that like button so YouTube knows a good channel for soap fans. And we have a membership where you have exclusive videos, early access to videos, um, early access to spoilers. You will have already gotten all of this information I'm about to give already. Um, so being a member is a good place to be. There's a link in the description box. If you want to be a member, go ahead and click that link. You'll see a video describing the membership, and then you can decide if you want to join. We'd love to have you. So I'm going to explain why Victoria Conefall is leaving the show again. She has said this in previous interviews before when she quit the first time Why she was quitting. Um, well, she don't want to be on the show. So just like Chloe Lanier, who played Nell on General Hospital, Victoria won her Emmy, <laughs> quit the show, and um, decided that, you know, she was um, ready to go out there and be maybe the next Demi Moore or any other actress who went from soaps to great stardom. Uh, you can't hate her for it because she's an actress. And, um, you know, she wants the work that makes her uh the most excited and probably makes her the most money so she revealed uh during an interview that quote the powers that be wanted me back for another year and i was like hey i can't do it i did quit for a reason i love y'all appreciate you so much but understand me and where i'm coming from my artistic integrity was no longer being fulfilled so, in other words, she didn't like like the soap, the storyline she was getting on Days of Our Lives. It didn't fit her artistic integrity, and she was ready to leave soaps. But, you know, it's a, it's a pandemic, <laughs> and, and jobs are like, you know, it's brought a couple of people back to the soaps. So... So this is so this is this is the problem. We all foresaw this coming. I've had for the last couple of months people asking me, was Victoria leaving the show? Was Victoria leaving the show? Was Victoria and Rob leaving the show? Was Marcy Miller leaving the show? And I keep saying, I don't just jump soon as the rumors go out there. If a rumor is most likely to be true, I may do a rumor control video and let you know this is rumor control. But a lot of times I like to make sure that it's the truth where all the speculation sites will just jump on and, and, and cross the fingers and you know, cross the toes and say, okay, maybe it'll be right, maybe it's wrong, but people can click on the site. I am known for waiting, being patient to make sure that a a real source has confirmed that things have happened. So I said in my a prior video, I will not talk on uh, Marcy Miller, who plays Abby's exit. I'm not going to talk on Rob. Uh, Robert Scott Wilson, who plays Ben, his exit, or Victoria's. So now we have our first confirmation, and I'm ready to speak on it. Victoria has confirmed that she has left Days of Our Lives again. And now, I'm doing a video on it. So no matter how much people try to force me to speak on something, like rumors and whatnot, you know, you'll get the video when I know it's true. Um, so we won't continue. The show, when they brought her back, they agreed to do her, keep her on as reoccurring because she refused to sign a year contract. So, um, she wanted to be free to seek out other things to work on. When she returned, the producers during an interview said that they were going to do everything they could to, to work around her schedule so that she could still do Days of Our Lives and other projects. And when that information came out, I told, you know, my soap fam, you guys, that understand what this means. Victoria will do other stuff and they'll work around her schedule as much as they can. But if Victoria gets a, a TV series from another network or a streaming service or something that's a competitor that doesn't want to have her um, out doing other stuff, then Victoria's not coming back. If Victoria does a movie that takes off and she has the potential to be the next Demi Moore or any other many other actresses that 
um, um, Anne Heche and all those, all those, all those different actresses that made it big and started doing movies and became very popular, whether it was prime time or theaters. Um, you don't look back. And another good example is recently in my Facebook group, uh, someone had mentioned um, now that Justin Hartley's This Is Us was can uh, was canceled or series is ending. Um, is he going to come back as uh, Adam on Young and the Restless? And um, why would he come back to a soap opera when he's successful in prime time? Hell, he could even do movies, but but he was making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per episode on This Is Us. They only do eighteen episodes a year, so I think they rounded out to like four million dollars or something like that, four point five. So why would you come back to a show where you're going to be making a lot less money? You don't know how grueling soap operas, scripts, and stuff are where actors got memorized hundreds of pages in a short period of time. So you got to do more work, get less pay, and, you know, you're back to daytime versus the more lucrative prime time. So it wouldn't make sense for uh, Justin Hartley to come back to um, daytime when he's making so much money in prime time. And on top of that, he also already has a new series, so no, he's not coming back. The, the daytime has got a new primetime series coming back on NBC. Some a suspense thrill, I can't remember the name right now. But if you go to SoFan, look for my answer, it's in there. So I say it to say, same thing with Victoria. If Victoria makes it big in primetime or movies, she ain't coming back. She's on a recurring contract, which means she can leave whenever she wants. Okay, she can leave whenever she wants. So, the show agreed to keep her on recurring so she'd be free to see other things. When um, she returned, the producers said in an interview they were going to bend over backwards um, to make it work. But just as I explained with Justin Hartley, um, if they're doing well, they're not coming back. So, you can bend over as much as you want. You can be contortionist. You can do yoga. It don't matter. Um, she's looking for her big break outside of days. She's trying to leave the show. She does not want to come back. You know, she'll come back when the bills are due. And <laughs> she ain't got a project. But um, after she returned, um, we got the kidnapping story. Because she said it wasn't fulfilling her artistic integrity. So they gave her the kidnapping story that led to her having amnesia. And then they gave Ben and Sierra some happiness before they put her in the current baby, um, devil baby storyline which Ben and Sierra has to fight the devil to protect their unborn child. So they've kept her busy. They've given her a variety of different storylines. And um, she, she's still not happy. But in regards to the story, she says, I've been doing that for a couple of months regarding to the devil baby story. I'm very grateful for this story. That That's what she said. Fans were shocked in a recent promo when Sierra is seen giving birth, although Kurt, technically Kurt is only like four or five months pregnant. Um, now that it's been confirmed that she's leaving the show, we now know why they're accelerating her giving birth. Um, Victoria talked about the audition process and the different auditions she's been on. And um, since she's refused to be on contract, she said, auditions are really slow right now. I've gotten a couple of almost, a couple of films. I um, do have something on Horizon. A friend of mine is producing the film in the South, and he pitched it to me. I can't really talk about um, talk about it too much, the title or the storyline, but I do like it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take some time off and do that. I might be putting on my cowgirl hat. So, so right now she is calling her exit some time off. I've just explained to you that she's looking for other work. She's looking for a new job. But days are a lot of safety net. If she needs money, she knows she can, uh, you know, come on through and do a little more Sierra while she's still looking for other work. 
and then you know she get that work she gone again um so even though she referred to his time off and now we're gonna talk about the rumor mill because i'm comfortable talking about the rumor mill with this end of the story because um the rumor is the show is looking for a new sierra which makes sense to me if the actress don't want to be on the show could you imagine having an employee that's like i don't want to be here but i'll grace you with my presence um uh, in between me trying, trying to find a new job and um, if I get something I like then deuces I'm out bye <laughs> do you know how as a writer how hard that is to write for a character who could leave at any minute and decide they don't want to be on the show no more and that the couple is a very popular super couple even though there are people out there that will never forgive Ben for being a serial killer when he had a mental disorder, um, they do not want Bone Hope's daughter <laughs> with a serial killer. I've seen them in my comments. And they hate Ben and Sierra. But those people are not, those are few and far between. Most people in the comment sections on Twitter, on the fan pages, fan bo message boards, they love Ben and Sierra. And they will be counting the days and hope that Victoria will once again grace us with her presence. Um, I'm over it. I was kind of over it the first time when I realized she wasn't happy and she didn't want to be on the show. I'm like, go be somewhere where you're happy. And I'll throw this in because I don't want to just th totally throw Victoria Comfort under the bus, under the fan bus. But you guys will also remember Christian Alfonso, the way she left the show. She was on the show for like 30-something years, um, faithful to the show. And when they decided that they wanted to give her unpaid time off for six months, and she was like, you know, the way they're doing Stacy, who plays um, Kristen Demir, you know how she's like, they keep sending her away, then I'm bringing back a little bit and then send her away again. Yeah, Christian wasn't going for that. She's like, you know, I've been here... Um, I'm a veteran cast member. I deserve better treatment. Either you find somebody else to go off for six months or I quit. So even watching that, seeing how producers um, just let Kristen go, Christian go, um, that, could, that, that could also do something to you mentally that I don't really have job security. I could spend all of my time here wasting my youth where you know I'm most desirable I was on the big screen or whatever and they could just decide one day that um sorry Victoria six months off you know go visit your mother in Paris <laughs> or wherever they said Christian uh hope is and um see you in six months and then you know we'll pay you six months from now so I could understand somebody seeing things like that happen on the show. Other actors, like I said, um, Stacey, Hayduck, um, constantly coming back and go. Eric came back to the show. We still haven't really seen him consistently yet. You know, so from a production point of view, it makes financial sense to take your most expensive actors and maybe give them some time off. Quiet as it kept. Have you noticed that um, before the double story happened, Marlene and John, they were kind of like MIA for for like a month, maybe two, um, where you barely saw them. I think it was like a month. So that was like a a, a little stealth uh, taking some players off the, off the canvas, and but not so long the fans go, "Where's Marlene and John?" You know, <laughs> you know. So we've seen it. You know, Romans hardly on the show. Um, they just sent Lucas away. Um, they also sent Philip away. And all of this is saving money. These are characters that are coming back to the show. But while it makes sense financially for the production to keep it afloat and make sure that they're under budget or on budget so that they don't get canceled, um, as an actor, um, it can be a little iffy. Even though they get paid a lot of money to be on the show, they're not getting like you know, um, a minimum wage, <laughs> you know, a lot of these actors on the show are, m are millionaires. So yeah, you know, DJ Hall, all of them, they're millionaires. So, you know, they can, they can take it. Even Christian Alfonso is a millionaire. 
So it's not like they're <laughs> they're broke, but um, the show's doing what it's got to do. And at the same time, the actors on the show, they have to do what they have to do as well. So I'm not mad at Victoria for her decision of I'm really trying to find something more stable or more popular to do or something that will make me a superstar. I get it. Um, so I will support her. And if I see that she's doing a movie or if I see that she's on a new TV show or something, I'm going to watch you know, unless it sucks. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to watch. I'm going to support her. And I'm going to let you guys know when she's in new projects, if I know about it. So I'm not saying hate Victoria. Just understand the game. Okay, don't hate the player. Hate the game. So actors play their games. Producers and, and you know, they play their games. It's all about the money. You know, if they backed up the Brinks truck, we probably have Sierra for forever, <laughs> but they ain't got that kind of money. So anyway, the other thing I'm going to address is Robert Scott Wilson. As I said, I will not talk about his potential exit yet for the simple fact that I have no confirmation. In fact, um, Ben and Sierra fans felt validated despite all the rumors. Robert Scott Wilson posted a picture of him in his uh, trailer. Not trailer, his dressing room. And so a lot of fans on Twitter were like, hey, see, he's still on the show. Now, Rob has always said that he was grateful to be on the show, that he loves being on the show, and he'll be there as long as they want him to. So it is possible that, um, because this double storyline, I have a feeling, I do not know if this is true, I simply have a feeling that um, they may go on a run from the devil, which would make sense. They have a baby. They want to take it in and leave. So it might be a situation where um, Sierra takes the baby and goes stay with Hope off camera while Ben stays behind to try to fight the devil or whatever, but the storyline don't until May. You know, or they may both leave and they may say, Rob, hey, can you give us, you know, however much time off and... You know, you'll be back with a new Sierra. Because rumor is they're looking for a new Sierra. So they could also do go that route, keep Ben and Sierra together, and have Rob and Victoria off camera. You never know. Victoria might come back. You know, she might she, she might be unemployed. Like, you know, I'll do a couple more months of Vic, uh, of, of um, Sierra. So that's, that's how that's all up in the air. Like I said, I don't want to address Marcy Miller's potential exit. Um, because right now is just a rumor and I have not seen anything truly confirming that she's leaving. I've also heard other rumors about them, um, potentially redoing the Salem Starker storyline. And you know, with the Salem Starker storyline, they killed off all these people who suddenly were alive on an island or something afterwards. So, so, but once again, I don't, this is the stuff I keep to myself. I don't know if they're going to do that. I've just heard from different sources that they were considering because the devil story was so popular. They may go on ahead and redo the Salem soccer. So Abby may get killed, but show up down the line. Then we've always got Rolf, you know, <laughs> who bring people back from the dead, you know. So, so you know, we just have to wait on that Marcy Miller information um, if she's leaving the show again. Um, and, um, like I said, Rob seems like he's, he's still on the show, um, taking a picture in the dressing room, but he didn't say why he was there. He could have been there to pack up. So this is why I don't jump into the rumor mill too deep until I start seeing from certain sources that, um, yeah, this is most likely true. So for now, confirmation of Victoria unconfirmed on Rob and Marcy and I will not speak on it <laughs> you know in the comment section or anywhere else but until I know anything for sure I'm not saying anything you know I'll do a video just like I'm doing this one right now and that's when I'll speak on it so if I ain't spoke on it then that means I'm either not ready to put to say something or I don't know if it's true. I'm just hearing rumors, same as you. Speculation and clickbait.
So, so that's that's how I try to make sure the information I give you is honest, true, and respectable. It's because I make sure my sources are correct, and when they're not, I I will come on camera and say, "Look, I got fooled. Um, I thought this was it. This is why I thought it was it, and um, this is the correction." You know, like, thankfully, I don't have to do a lot of that because I don't get into a lot of speculation. So that is it for this video. Let me know <laughs> if you want uh, Victoria to come back. Let me know if you're like, look, you'd rather have an actress that wants to be on the show and is going to sign a year contract or longer. Um, because remember, Victoria is Sierra number three. She's not the first Sierra. Please, let's, the, that second Sierra was horrible. Horrible. But um, that's why we love Victoria so much. She's, a, she's an amazing actress. She's a great talent. She's beautiful. You know, she can be mean girl. She can be sweet, innocent girl. Um, she's very talented, which is why I know she has a great future ahead of her in the entertainment business. And I just don't think it'll last much longer if this isn't the end on Days of Our Lives. So are you ready for Sierra number four? Or are your fingers crossed that Victoria comes back? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.